Now that we have spoken a lot about Material UI, you must be thinking, what problem does this library solve? And why should I even use it? Material UI is an open source UI framework with a permissible MIT license. It provides material components for React-based applications. It is an implementation of Google Material Design specification. To better understand how they are related, let's dive into the basics of Material Design. Material design philosophy came from Google back in 2014, where various researchers, engineers, designers, and product teams created a whole design system filled with guidelines, components, and tools supporting highly optimized, usable, and beautiful apps. All this work has been distilled and provided to application developers for quickly building the products using these artifacts. Some of the core principles of material design includes material theming that allows us to customize a material design specific to our brand which means custom attributes for say color palette, typography, and even spacing. And customizing the values of these attributes and many others creates the theme of our product. Material UI library achieves this by implementing a default theme object that comes with the library. This default theme can be customized the way we want, but don't worry about the implementation. We will customize the theme for our Stratafly application in the later modules. Now Material Design also laid down specifications for color system where if we know the primary and secondary color of our app, theme for the entire application can be generated along with the dark and the light variants. How amazing is that? Even the text color on the backgrounds is highly optimized, researched, and tested for accessibility. Now, Material UI library gives you access to all of these colors out of the box. So as a developer, we can use it directly in the code. Material Design also provides guidelines on typography. Their type scale is built from a combination of 13 styles with details on emphasis, case, and letter spacing to convey meaningful message to your app users. Now, Material UI library provides a separate React component for typography. It closely adheres to the Material Design spec. Not just that, typography is also provided in theme object and can be used in cases where component cannot be used. Iconography plays an equally important role in material design system, where specifications have been laid down on system icons for common user actions. The material icons library is freely available in various themes. Now, how to access these icons? Material UI library provides all these material icons converted to SVG components. They are available as React components that we can directly import into our code. Again, we will cover all these in detail while implementing components for Stratafly application. Interestingly, Material Design also provides an array of rich components. These components are directly available as React component in Material UI library with customization feature. Some of the examples include app bar to display information and actions on current app screen, buttons component to capture user actions. Material UI provides these button components out of the box animated for different states so that developers do not spend much of their time animating every button in the application. Then, there are selection controls like checkboxes, radio buttons, switches that are frequently used in all sorts of applications and allow users to select from the given options. They can be imported as checkbox, radio, and switch components from Material UI library. The thing to notice is these are ready to use components with some reasonable defaults and can be easily customized. Components like menus that present various choices to your app users are also available as menu component in library, which can be imported whenever needed. Then there are navigation components such as navigation drawer so that user can reach to different destinations within the application. This is also available as drawer component in material UI library with multiple variations to choose from. Bottom navigation bar to navigate between the primary features. And this is available in material UI library as bottom navigation component. Then there are tabs to help organize content across various screens. This is also a React component in Material UI called tab, and that comes with a rich set of properties to customize further. There are also components like dialogues to block an application's operation or to convey an important piece of information to user before it continues. Material UI also provides this component as dialogue that comes in various sizes, styles, including full screen dialogues. So that was a lot of information. Let's review what we have learned so far. We learned that Material UI provides us theme, collection of material color palette, provides typography as per Material Design spec in different type scales, letter spacing, and Material UI also provides rich library of material icons to represent common actions in the app. 
there are plethora of components available that are ready to be used in your applications. And most important, they come with the built-in transitions. This library also gives you a lot of flexibility for customizing anything we want in the application. We only covered a handful of features and components of this library, but hopefully you have got an idea of what it offers to the developers. This is the official website we will refer during this course.